Every time I was sick as a kid at Grandma's, she would always have these remedies for me to take, and little whiskey and little honey. That maneuver's been around for generations, and it would work, not because it was medicine. It's because I was seven years old, and I'm drinking whiskey shooters. I'm out. I'm gone. Problem solved. Then, somewhere along the line, a few brainiacs decided to market an over-the-counter cough syrup for people that had grandmothers that didn't believe in raising drunken juvenile delinquents, and that did pretty well. After that, the marketing people got in on it and discovered there would be a lot more profit in the high-end market. Hey, let's put out a cough syrup for the section of the population that made enough money to keep their juvenile delinquent kids out of jail no matter what they did. I'm John McClellan. Thank you for tuning in to Poor Choice. Today we're drinking that product, that high-end product, the Gucci bag of cough syrup, Drambuie. If you have never had Drambuie, and I'm guessing a lot of you have not, it's a blend of Scottish malt whiskey and heather honey, which sounds delicious, but if Drambuie was delicious, you would have had it by now. It's a blend, so technically it's a liqueur, albeit a ramped up one. Most liqueurs are much lower alcohol. Trambouille is 80 proof. Now, with a 40% alcohol content, in my mind, you're trying to kill something in there. One of the ingredients in this bottle knows way too much. Trambouille is a key ingredient in the Rusty Nail Cocktail, a drink that is equal parts Trambouille and Scotch. Now, I'm going to pause here to give you a minute just to make a face. The Rusty Nail was a popular cocktail back in the 1950s with the Rat Pack and Humphrey Bogart because back then everybody drank scotch so they kept coming up with ways to keep rebranding scotch into different drinks. The Rusty Nail, the Rob Roy, the Godfather. This is an idea you actually see in modern times especially if you've watched any of the Law & Order TV series. Now, there is Drambuie, and there's something called Drambuie 15, which is an aged version. A little redundant, if you ask me, because every bottle of this that you would see in a bar is about 15 years old anyway. It's not a big seller. The first year this was produced, 1914, they sold 12 cases, which is also the amount they sold last year. Mostly to people that wear vests in public on purpose. Grand Bowie, with apologies to my grandmother. <laughs> oh, man! Whoa! I think I just drank a glow stick. This, this is like a seance in a bottle. I'm hearing voices. Is, is that is that you, Grandma? She's gone. Let me get a little more. She was about to tell me where something was buried in the backyard. Make a left at the tree. Got it. have we learned here today? Well, according to the people at Drambuie, you can make any cocktail rusty by adding their liquor. For example, there's a drink out there called the Monte Carlo. You add Drambuie, it's now a rusty Monte Carlo. If you want to make it authentic, take a gummy bear, drop it in the glass, and now there's a body in the trunk. But why stop there? Let's make up our own drinks, all right? Drambuie and breast milk. We'll call that the Rust Fun Baby, or carrot juice in Drambuie would be a Rust Bunny. You can take a swig of Drambuie and pass gas for a crop rust, or maybe we call that Rust in the Wind. <laughs> We're done here, people. 
John McClellan, poor choice. 